All right, y'all. Today we got my boy Mike Lowry from Bad Boys. Now that boy Mike was one of the smoothest characters I had growing up as a kid. But I guess that's how they presented him, right? The first time we introduced the Trigger Mike, he is a police officer who drives a Porsche. It's $105,000, and this happens to be one of the fastest production cars on the planet. Zero to 16 in four seconds, sweetie. This is a limited edition. You damn right it's limited. No cup holder, no back seat. So it's like, okay, my boy got the Porsche, fresh suit. Because when I thought of police or cops, I thought of black uniform or the dark blue uniform. You know, with the belt, the holster, you know. So mind you, I was young. Feel me? He had the holster to go over the shoulders. You know what I'm talking about? With the gun go right here. You up that mother. Y'all never thought it looked dope to be a detective or like FBI. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Criminal Minds. Y'all seen Criminal Minds. Everybody has seen at least one episode of Criminal Minds just skimming through and they trying to find somebody. You know what I'm saying? I, I think it was the camaraderie of it all. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying Marcus and Mike was moving as partners. You feel me? I said I wasn't there for you. Who the fuck are you? I'm Mr. Burnett. I'm Reggie. What you doing here? Came to take out Megan. What? Uh, what's your name? Reggie. Well, no, y'all heard the motherfucker say your name, Reggie. You want you taking Megan out? Yes, sir. How old is you? 15. Shit, nigga, you at least 30. This is or all the action scenes was heat. They always had him doing some dope ass shit, like. Marcus! But as always, for me, it's the characters and the actors that bring them to life and the stories that are told through the character that make me make videos like these where I share my perspective. And I expect you to share yours down in the comment section below where we can discuss. Now back to the main plot of Mike Lowry. Now what we learn about Mike is that he is a second generation rich kid who had a trust fund that was open to him at the age of 18. You know, unlike you, my daddy didn't leave, leave me, me no, no trust, trust fund. fund. Yeah, right. Okay? I got real world shit to deal with, Mike. I'm not in it for the thrills. So that raises the question, why the hell did he choose to become a cop? Like I said before, he had a trust fund. He had money. His partner, Marcus, said he was in it for the thrills, which means an action junkie. He liked the shootouts and things of that nature. But let's say it's more than that. Let's look at it like this. Personally, what would you do if you were left a trust fund by your father? Would you want to make your own mark or would you be okay with sitting back and spending the money your father left? Instead, Mike chose to impact the world in his own way. So in my book, that's admirable. So that's the most important thing that stood out to me about his character. He chose this job. Not to mention he a all around damn menace. Who that? Who in my house? I'm the devil. Who's asking? The devil is not welcome here. You got to call yourself the devil in his house. A bullet in the head will really mess up your extensions. Yeah. Whether it's a shootout or an investigation. And now that I'm older, he kind of reminds me of Shaft. If you don't know the Shaft character, we might cover him later. In Bad Boys 3, I realized something though. Yeah, he was a legend at his job, known throughout the city. Yeah. Damn near everything you can imagine as an officer under his belt. But what had he accomplished outside of that and all the other material things he had? Crazy enough, he ended up realizing the same thing. Not that it was acknowledged much in the movie, but in order for that to happen, Trigger Mike almost lost his life to that damn trigger. Trigger Mike strikes again. And it's crazy, cause that age ain't slow him down at all. Nigga got some crazy genes. You about to see why I'm talking about genes in a second. But just, just, just keep, keep, stay with me. Now, turns out he had family the whole time. Well, a son, and his son is the one that pulled the trigger on Trigger Mike. What the hell kind of luck is that to get shot by your long lost son when you believe you have no family? Then this man's son was a damn African American Latino Superman. He's the right age. He's crazy like me. He's ruthless like me. He's fearless like me. He's the fucked up me. The damn Michael Lowry blood in his body. And he whooped Mike ass. <laughs> But he's really getting his ass whooped. Lord. I knew something was wrong when Mike Lowry lost the fight. 
because they built him up. They built him up so high. I, I ain't seen him lose a fight the whole, feel me, the whole trilogy. So I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised when I found out he had a son in the third movie. I wasn't surprised. <laughs> in all seriousness though, when he found out he had a kid, you know what I'm saying? We see there was more to Mike's character all along. As much as he denied it, he always wanted family, but buried himself in work to hide the fact. If y'all don't peep, I'm a peep. Feel me? But yeah, burying yourself in work, that ain't it. Successful do not recommend. Y'all try to face y'all problems head on and don't be afraid to ask your people for help. And if nobody want to help, believe you strong enough to get through. And I also believe you strong enough to get through. Should I believe we can do anything. Thank you for checking this video out. Just getting back into my groove. And uh, also, Bad Boys 4 was just announced. So I was like, okay, let me, feel me, let me make something right quick to pay homage to this character. Can't wait to see it on the screen again. Especially, uh, you know, after Will Smith slapped the hell out of Chris Rock, I thought it was over. So <laughs> with that being said, I catch y'all in the next video. And it's coming real, real soon. Hit that like, subscribe if you're new. Peace.